Hello everyone, it's me once again. So today we're gonna do the setting up on this Pico robot. So um, I'm quite looking forward to it. I have actually been waiting overnight. But anyway, we're gonna use this uh, USB cable on the back side of this jack here, the USB. Now, um, robot representative um, actually contacted me, kindly reminding me that the other port that you can see here on the, um, the other side, is that it's actually called a Grove port and what Grove port is I have I still have no idea I googled it but um, it is a Grove port that allows any Grove sensors to be connected and uh, read from within the Pico app or Pico uh, Python library so it seems like you could do a lot of magic with this <laughs> port um, within the software and so on anyway so what, what I'm gonna do is uh, set up and see how it goes so here it goes Welcome to LJP Tech's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, like and comment. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to basically um, untie this USB cable and then plug in this to this. Okay, and um, we've got one USB jack that is available for the Surface Pro notebook that I'm using. So let's see if there's any reaction yet. Oh, okay. It says on the um, screen here saying we're setting it up. So setting up USB audio DAC. Let's follow what's happening here. Device is ready. So um, Arduino Micro is uh, ready to go. Device is ready. USB audio DAC is set up and ready to go. So it seems everything is set up and um, ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is go to this website pico.co.uk. So, okay, let's get on to it. www.pico.co UK. Okay, so it's asking me to do, you know, fill out the form and so on. So uh, we'll go to the full screen mode and see how it goes. New correction needs to be made. I immediately thought that this is like just a form to be able to download software and so on, but this is an option where you could. Uh, get notified so uh, you can leave your name and email address and so on but the main thing what you need to download is the get started with Windows app and get started with Python so I'll start with the um, any questions you can email to info at robot.co.uk but let's get started with the Windows app these are all the descriptions and the link if there's any bugs Windows 7.8 um, and resources and etc so um, I'm gonna follow those app first so this is Microsoft free software, so let's download that. So here it goes. Okay, so all downloaded and let's launch it. So when we launch it, we get this robot windows popping up. Ah, look at that. You can see robot's eyes. Also, I noticed the screen, so the sound seems to be coming from here somewhere instead of the computer. But um, let's see if robot, oh. Okay, so Obot can somehow... Oh, I need to fill in those email address, um, use the screen activated, so I need to do it in individual. So let me just fill that in, so I'll come back to you soon. You can see that all these blocks, um, motion, speech, sound, data, multi-blocks, uh, events, and sensing and operators. So, Basically, these are quite simple um, commands that you could put as a Lego block together to be able to create a set of movements, I guess. That's how it is. And also you could have uh, make an eye shape as well, design your own eye shape and um, also test it and delete it and so on. Uh, this is a quick run, but I, what I notice is if I click on the green flag, basically when I move my mouse, uh, Pico's head is actually you know, up, down, left, right, 
and, and so on. So it's all ready to go. So let me play with all the um, Picos, uh, you know, this Windows app and see how it goes. Apologies for the sa fan sound, by the way. It's basically, I can see the camera, uh, the Pico app, Windows app is using my Win Windows Surface Pro, uh, Pro camera to, you can see my face in here. Uh, and also uh, the sound seems to be transferred to Pico um, himself uh, but, but there are a few things I need to learn and come back to you so hope you like the setup procedure it was very simple what I have learned so far is that comparing to the setup procedure that was required between uh, Zumi and uh, and oh, but I know it's very early to compare, but Zoomy, it was quite an effort to do it. There was a confusion with the um, internet setting, there's a router setting, but uh, Obot, they have, it seems they have put a lot of thoughts on how someone can operate uh, the, the, the robot itself. So basically all you need to do is download the app, Windows app, in case, uh, I don't know whether they have the iOS or the Apple one, but anyway, we got the Windows app um, running, Pretty simple you saw all those blocks and I can easily see myself playing around with it so um, I'll see what I can do the expressive robot indeed and um, yeah I, I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun but yes uh, with the all the Python software because I don't know the basis uh, I know many people are actually gonna cringe the fact that I don't know much about the basis of Python I am learning I want to apologize if I'm so ignorant on it but uh, by looking at what uh, the um, Pico has done with their Windows app. I wish, uh, I know I hate comparing, but I wish um, Robolink could come up with a similar app. And um, I hope that will be a very reasonable criticism. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And um, yes, the Pico it seems very convincing and it looks much, pretty much fun to use uh, so far so let me come back to you further on with all the development uh, it's saturday today and i hope you have a fantastic weekend and um, thank you very much for watching this video this is ljb tech all the best bye bye